clean his name. Mahalan. kitchen and we are still not yet settled totally we don't have we only have few items and we have to make up on how to uh, arrange these things because we are not yet settled up to now so sobrang busy <coughs> kaya ayan kala and even the our leftovers i don't uh, i i still don't have time to buy our uh few things that's uh, basic needs in the kitchen and also our budget is still tight here. And you come with your family. It's uh, very hard to settle. You need to have at least enough money. Of course, provide uh, food and shelter for the whole family. And the best to find places or home to rent is from the legit, legit app like Zupla, uh, Zupla like Fright Move, Share Room, and there's another one, one more app. And, uh, but need a guarantor or guarantor that has a higher salary than yours. Let's say, especially if your guarantor has a family also, let's say they will require you to have a guarantor of 30,000 uh, annual income. So if you're new here and you don't know anyone, so where where could you find uh, someone that earns 30,000 as annual income? Even the band six nurses don't have that, uh, I think, annual income. I think so. And other than otherwise, you have to still uh, take the house or rent the house if you will pay six months amount of rent plus the deposit. So for us here, we don't have that much money. So what I did is I borrowed, and I don't, I cannot find someone who has thirty thousand annual income. So they asked me if you, if, since you don't qualify, if you want to take the house, you have to pay the six months rent and plus the deposit. And uh, let's say uh, your house costs like seven hundred fifty a month, and uh, that's mostly the the prices of houses here. Two bedrooms, three bedrooms. If three bedrooms, that's already a very very cheap amount. And but the before the, I mean the. The old prices, uh, rent prices are uh, much, much cheaper. You can even get 550 but as, as of this year, that's the average range of uh, houses here. Six months rent plus the deposit, and uh, I don't have that much money because it, it was very stressful. It is really stressful. That's, I think that's the, uh, I, that's the best uh, advice that uh, we can give you or for those who, are, uh, who want to settle down in UK. So before you come here or... You can come here uh, at your own first, and then but if you want to take your family with you, you have to be financially ready because when you come here, the stress is different, far different from uh, the place where you are coming from. Like for us, we came from Abu Dhabi, and life there is very easy. If you find a house, of course, if you if you rent a house or room, it's easy because you just talk to the person and uh, just give at least one month advance, and that's it. You can have the uh, you can have the house already. But here, it's far more different. They need not only even if you have the money, they still need your identification, some other proof proofs, income, and everything. And uh, so, yeah, what I mean is that you cannot take something uh, so easily, like uh, done overnight, but instead it needs some process. You need to process. So to process the application, uh, it's like a, a black and white form. You need to undergo some like background investigation or what, uh, credit investigation, something like that. And that's what I, I, I that's, we, that's what we went through. And it was very stressful for me. So I don't know why. Why is it like that? That when you come here in UK, the, the stress the stress level is different, far different from uh, other places. I don't know if it's the way how how things are to be done here. Like uh, the, like the one that I mentioned. If you want to rent a house, you have to undergo some you have to undergo the process. And plus the plus the adjustment, you you need to adjust for the kind of food, the weather, and it's really stress here is really a. Uh, uh, something that you have to be well prepared on. So it, it's a kind of different level of stress here than the stress that we, than the stress that I have had in the past uh, years of my uh, working as OFW. So I have worked in Saudi and it was the least stress that I got and I have worked in UAE. Also, it is the, the stress level there is acceptable than the stress here. Stress here in UK is something that uh, I, I don't know, I can say that it's uh, strange I, it's hard to explain 
So if you are a first time to come here in UK and you are planning to take your family with you, so you have to be prepared physically, mentally, and financially. And that's, a, that's really the path. And uh, at first, I didn't believe that because I believe that I can do it. But uh, yeah, uh, you can't blame people to take their family with them to come here in the UK because that's their choice. <clears throat> and also that was my choice. Because I don't want to live alone. I want uh, to live with my family. That is why that's the reason that I insisted to take my to take my husband with me. I came here ahead uh, one day ahead of my husband because I cannot travel. That's what our agreement was. I cannot travel with the husband. Actually, for the long sana yon, it can be. Uh, I'll just uh, not have to declare it to them. But I'm a truthful person, so whatever is the agreement, I stick to that. <clears throat> and um, so after a day of coming here. I came back to London. I went to Manchester to take my husband. Yes. <coughs> as a first timer, uh, as a first timer, it was really uh, it was challenging at first. But after those times, I mean, the successive events that happened here were so tiring because I, I when I first uh, even up to now, I'm still trying to adjust the food here. So for both of us, me and my husband. Uh, at first, we, we were not able to, I mean, we, 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 it's like, there were times that we skip meals because we don't like the food, and because we don't live together at first, at first in, a, in an Airbnb, and uh, I realized that I'm spending a lot of money for that, <clears throat> so uh, we have to save, and uh, we have to save, although I don't get the real picture, uh, the real picture of uh, renting a house yet here. Because I thought I can take from a uh, cheaper one. And uh, so uh, he had two Airbnb um, um, twice that he twice that he rented an Airbnb room for uh, a few weeks. And then after that he, he was living with someone. We met someone here. He was very supportive. He was very supportive even up to now. He was even the one who helped my husband to find a job. Yeah, the good thing is that uh, when we, uh, when my husband came here, uh, he met someone. He met someone who helped him through until he got a job. And uh, he doesn't have actually it's it's another story. He doesn't have only for but only for like a synopsis of his uh, employment here. He doesn't have any experience at all in like the uh, central sterilization something uh, the. CSSD, what, that's what we call CSSD, uh, but he was able to, he was able to, he, he is now employed in uh, that nature of work. So I will tell another story of that because he doesn't have any experience at all, and he even doesn't have a formal education or training on that uh, aspect. So that's the story that we end up, ended up here, and uh, we got this uh, very small apartment. It's a two-bedroom apartment. It's a... Uh, uh, it's a, the price is a little bit pricey, but the good thing is that, uh, like, it will be for uh, 100 pounds, differ, uh, di a difference of 100 pounds if you rent a house from outside. And uh, and the good thing is that uh, there's also a good thing in living here because uh, everything is provided. I don't know if, what's, if, if this is what you call Let's say it's a part furnished. Mm. The sofa, the sofa, dining table, uh, oven, of course. Um, what else? There's a dishwasher already there, and... Um, Microwave, makadat pa. Uh, microwave, uh, center uh, corner table, and washing machine. I still don't have time to fix things here. And washing machine. So, I mean, we don't have to buy those things. Washing machine and uh, two bedrooms with bed. This is Andre's bed. With bed, mattress, and uh, side table. And also our room here. This is the master's one bed and the cabinet and also side tables so yeah so i guess that's the story that i can share to you who if you come here to uk you have to be prepared physically emotionally um, financially at least prepare for a six a total of seven months rent or let's say seven months plus some few pounds seven months rent plus deposit and yeah that's at least uh, the, the tip that I can give you if you come here with your family. Prepare for the amount of house rent that will suit you and your family. And then, so plus your expected expenses. 
in the first few months, like one or two months, or three months. At least one or two months, expected expenses. Then, yeah, at least one or three months expenses. Because once your husband gets a job, he can help you. And uh, the good thing is, if you don't have any anyone that needs a child care. So that's the bad side here. If you first come here with your, uh, your if you're a family with children, I mean kids, small kids, that needs child care. So that, uh, that should also be considered by you. Because you can't leave a minor alone in the house. And you have to... Uh, you have to schedule it, make a schedule with your spouse, at least to have someone stay with your kid at home. Well, you can also find a house that if uh, if it's not under letting agent or agency, uh, you can find a house from private individuals. But you have to be like tough in uh, doing that. And uh, sometimes I got someone, I am supposed to get a house from an individual, but she's, uh, the, the person that I talked to is that, uh, it's not a letting agent, but only from a, a person. And then she's asking too many questions. So he even uh, demanded employment for my husband. So I am not the only one. If you're the uh, main applicant, they will not uh, depend on your uh, employment. I mean income. So they that's why, that's the reason that they will ask for the income of your husband as well. For you to both live, because they will calculate already the uh, how you pay the house rent. Plus, after that, you have to pay for the council tax and then uh, the water, electricity. Electricity here is very expensive. At least water is a bit cheaper. And then, <coughs> plus the, your basic needs and the food. So that is why they will ask the income of, for both of you. And uh, so when I talked to someone, uh, it took her time to, uh, to approve me. And by the time, uh, I, I, I got fed up. Of waiting for her because she's asking too many questions she's asking a lot of things and i am clear on my side but uh, for my husband she is uh, insisting for uh, more something like id identification contract he was she was even asking for a contract and uh, pay sleep and uh, that time uh, my husband has just started working so it's that uh, it's like uh, they will not believe you. mostly they will not believe you verbally because the person that I uh, it's a different nationality is not from a local here and uh, she's also a foreigner here I mean a foreign an expat here in the UK and then uh, I think she doesn't uh, trust me. She doesn't trust us, so that's why she needs to have a. At that time, she needed a proof that uh, my husband was really employed. He's really employed. So eventually, I got fed up because uh, uh, also the thing that uh, the thing that I don't like is that the location of the house. It's uh, it's like I need to ride a bus where I need to pay to get to the hospital or to where I work, and then so that's additional expenses. And uh, the house is also a two-bedroom house, but it's, it, it doesn't look good. It is very, uh, it, it's an old house. The price is like 75 cheaper from here. And the only thing that's uh, installed there is the this one, the cooking range or uh, yeah, this oven. That's the only thing. And the rest I have to buy for uh, bed and mattress, refrigerator, washing machine. And uh, I was thinking we are, we are only starting up. So at least uh, if, if I can have something ready that I don't need to buy at first. And uh, that was the thing that discouraged me in taking the house. So eventually, I searched for. I I um, I said I said to my husband, I need something that's like same in uh, Abu Dhabi or UAE. Uh, something that's very near to the to everything, easy access to everything. Because there, the only easy access is going to the hospital for me, where I I need to ride the bus, but it will only take some few minutes. Like it, it's a it's a short distance ride from the house to the bus, and then a short walk going to the to the main highway. But I heard that the that the, that place or area there near the hospital is not safe, and um. There are a few, there were a few, there are a few, um, what do you call this, like grocery, small, gro even small groceries, I don't find that uh, small less groceries, number of few, I don't find a lot of uh, small groceries there, but instead I only saw, I think, one or two, something like that, but uh, those are the times that we still need to uh, find out some things, and uh, so I tried to search online, because I told my husband, I don't like the place, and I don't want to buy things since we're still new here, so what we did is research again in the right move, and on the market, yeah, right move on the market, Zupla and, uh, and Share Home. Share room, share room. And uh, I think I found this in the right move. And then, uh, yeah, that's the good thing here. Everything is already here, ready. All you, you just have to do is to get your things here and then unpack. So that was we uh, did. And then uh, if you get out of this uh, apartment, uh, you need you like five minutes walk, you will reach Tesco. And uh, like 10 minutes walk, you will reach Aldi from here. And uh, you can even walk go going to the city center at least 20 minutes walk and uh, also 
the free bus or free shuttle bus going to the hospital is just the uh, the the bus stop is just when I get out of this house to the street. Like I'll I'll just need to walk three or four minutes, then I'll reach the bus stop. So that's the good thing here. And then so, um, but the bad side is I have to pay for the six months and the plus additional uh one month deposit. So that's only uh, and I, I my money was not enough. Our money was not enough. So I have to borrow uh some from John from uh. uh Edward and from Noel to complete the seven months plus few 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 pounds. So it was hard at first. It was hard and now we we only have to uh, pay some balance to John. At least after that then we are free. So that's the hardest part of starting up here in the UK. And yeah as I have mentioned if you will find uh, sometimes if you're lucky you you can find actually if you are uh, if you are if you have patience in finding uh, houses offered by private individuals i think you can uh, get it and then especially if you know someone here if you have someone that you know here and then that they will support you it's easier actually you can do that as well um only that uh, there are some uh there are some things that you need to sacrifice like the things that i have said you, you need to sacrifice some uh like for example the type of house that you will get of course uh, don't ex expect too much if you are expecting less lesser lesser uh payment don't expect too much so of course if you expect more than that you have to uh, also allocate some uh allocate budget for that uh, expectations so you have to believe the expectations versus reality or so that things like that so i i think that's all for now that i can share to you for our uh new adventure here in the uk and expect that i will be sharing more in the coming days